Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for always stopping by. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. A lot of persons today are suffering from some things which they've been to the hospital and it's given a medical name and they keep treating this thing, keep treating this thing. Why? Because it has a name. You understand? And when you go to the hospital and you are told that this is what is wrong with you, that will make you to stop looking for any other solution because you are already told what is wrong with you. But today I am here to tell you that not every ailment is spiritual. Not every ailment is physical either. Please, first and foremost, seek for medical advice, run some tests and know what is wrong with you. When you run these tests and you know what is wrong with you, while you are at your medical treatment, follow it up spiritually, prayerfully and medically. Then leave the rest to God Almighty, He who is the greatest healer. That is why today I am here to tell you what you can do in order not to just keep wasting your money thinking that it's medically. What you can do also to tackle ailments spiritually or those that eat in their dream. When you eat in your dream, some foods you are giving in your dreams are poison, spiritual arrows channel into your life. It could be to destroy your health. It could be to destroy your marriage, your home, your finance, your business, your job, or to lock up the doors of your destiny helpers, whereby they will not even remember to help you, even when they promise to help you. Number one thing you should do is get coconut water depending on the quantity of the water you are able to extract from the coconut when you extract your um if the quantity of the water it can get to one cup of water there i doubt there is any coconut one one that will get to one cup of water but get like two three that will fill a cup of water you understand what i mean then get palm oil. There's this one the Igbos call Aku Ojuku. I sell palm oil. Yes, because of the spiritual. I am not selling palm oil because I sell my gear and salt. You understand? But I sell palm oil because of the spiritual things I use it for. And because I talk about it. And I know it's difficult for people to get original palm oil out there somehow in quote. So you need to get original palm oil. What we see out there is frightening. Please make sure it's original. Even if it's not a cold, you could just make sure your palm oil is original. In one glass cup of your coconut water, add like three spoons of your palm oil. If you have alligator pepper, it's optional. Drop seven seeds inside it. Now, this can all this can also work for people that have a moving or they say they have moving objects which they have checked medically and um, nothing was found medically you understand you also can use this when you mix this mixtures together remember your alligator pepper must be open for prayer purpose by taking your hands to the back the next thing you should do is pray your intentions into this mixture asking god to use it to remove and destroy whatever this that 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 you understand you are going to use this in two ways one when you awake in the morning, remember they say um, coconut water destroyed the effect efficacy of um, modern medicine, you understand? So you don't take it when you want to take your medicine, at least an hour before you take your medicine. When you wake up in the morning, pray, take one shot, a little, one shot, you understand? Pray into it and ask God, should there be anything you have eaten in your dream that is disturbing you? Should there be anything that is um, bringing you set back? Should there be anything that is inside you spiritually that is, you understand? Speak, pray to God. Tell him to use these things he created to put an end to this whatever, whatever it is. 
then you drink that one shot in the morning now you can use it also by rubbing it on your body yes when you want to go and bath rub it on your body prayerfully rub it on your body prayerfully then if you have um a spiritual soap you bath with use it to wash it off if you don't have a spiritual soap you bath with get any soap use your hand don't use your sponge please except if you have native sponge that you would dispose use your hand with your soap yes your soap if you don't have spiritual soap use your hand and your soap to wash it off you do this consistently and i believe by the grace of god you will see a great change in that situation remember something do not leave god behind when you are doing these things it doesn't work that way he created these things for our own use so always acknowledge and align it with god thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate you. It's not another person, but Gloria Cheesy. Oh, thank you.